Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. I'm your host CyberMonkey and this YouTube channel is all about documenting my journey to earning the OSCP. So hopefully by June I can order or purchase the PWK and I can get started on the material there. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, there are some areas that I still am struggling on. Um, I have not worked on my Python or JavaScript probably as much as I, as much as I think I need to. Um, and I've been meaning to get around to it, but um, excuses, excuses. Um, my, my shell's good to go and fine tuned on that. I understand really basic Python and I can, I can read the rest with just a few Google searches of some of the names and everything like that. Um, so same on JavaScript. I would say my, my Python is substantially stronger than my JavaScript, which is a little bit problematic for me. I would definitely like to improve on my JavaScript as well. Um, so today we're going to be going over the Defend the Web series, which is, uh, let me actually see what we're doing today. Ah, thank you. So today we're going to be going over the Defend the Web series. Uh, their level is Crypt 1. As you can see, we have to decrypt the following text. Really simple solution. Um, hopefully no one overlooked it. I've made the habit of doing that in the past before where the solution is right there in front of your face and you just completely overlook it because you're expecting something a little bit more complex or more difficult. So always be mindful that um, take it slow, start easy and just progressively build on that. Don't um, get so caught up trying to find some complicated solution that you just pass right over that answer the entire time. So there are no tools needed uh, for this solution. Really easy solution. Um, one of their easiest ones, in fact. So I'll just kind of show you how we went about solving it. Um, so you can see here, decrypt the following text, and then you have a bunch of just gibberish that goes through. But if you stare at it for a couple minutes, you start to notice it's really not gibberish. You start to pick out a few words in there and you start to realize that this is all just backwards. I mean, the, it, the answer's right there. Hello, welcome to the crypt levels on um, Hackett, so on and so forth, these levels, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes on to say um, that the password is, ooh, let's just try typing that in because uh, I don't recognize that word. So W-O-O-C, R Y P T. Oh, WooCrypt. Okay. All right, cool. So there you have it. There's the solution. The password for the solution was posted right there on the challenge page as part of the description. The text was just backwards. All you have to do is just look at the text for a couple minutes and you will definitely pick it out. I really don't see this one picking up too many users. But hey, if you do find yourself on this video and you realize that the solution is easy, don't sweat it. It happens all the time. It happens to me, especially when I first got started, I was just expecting the most complicated answers. And the solution was right there in front of me the whole time. So um, just be mindful that you don't overlook key clues or solutions while you're trying to find that impressive vulnerability. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, and I will catch everyone in the next video. Thanks everyone.